In this video, we'll cover how to properly configure your retention policies. So first thing we're going to do is we need to make a cyber protection plan. So we'll go over to devices. We'll select a, a device, go over to protect, and we'll hit add a plan, create a plan. The portion of this video that we're going to cover is how long to keep. This is our retention policy. How long do you want to keep it? Obviously, the longer your retention policy, the more storage that you will need to keep these. It is important to note that the retention policies are directly tied to the scheduling scheme that you have. Depending on which scheduling scheme that you have, it will change your retention policy. We will take a look at three of them. We'll start with always incremental, and then we'll look at weekly full, daily incremental, and grandfather, father, son, or monthly full, weekly differential, and daily incremental. So let's take a look at the retention policies that are available. So this is our always incremental, and there are three options that you can have by backup age, by number of backups, or to keep indefinitely. When you select by backup age, it will ask you for your monthly, weekly, and daily retention policies. Keeping in mind that when you're in the always incremental mode, you're gonna be asked, how long do you wanna keep your data? Months, weeks, or days? And by setting this, it will set the number of months, weeks, or days that it will hold on to your cleanup. When you set up the retention policies this way, when you have data that is older from, than that in the always incremental, it will consolidate the needed backups and get rid of the unneeded backups. You can also switch to a single rule for all of your backup sets, and then you can also toggle back to individual rules for your backup sets, but note that you can consolidate them. And then you also have an option to start either after backup or before backup. This feature is available so that in case you have a very tight amount of space that you have available for backups, you might want to choose before backup to clear up some additional space before performing your next backup. We should note that regardless of the retention rules that you set up, uh, it will never delete your last backup, neither will it delete any dependencies that you have within the backups. Let's go back upward to the scheduling and let's switch over to the weekly full daily incremental and see how that changes our policies. And then we'll go over here and you will see because we've chosen that particular policy, you will see that there is no hourly set up here because there is no hours in that particular scheme. So it doesn't offer that to you here. Now let's go back over and change it to the grandfather, father, son. And you'll see that we're able to choose uh, full differential and incremental backups in this particular policy. And then we'll go back over into the how long to keep. And you'll see that we also now have full differential and incremental separate backup policies. And so you can change them to be whatever you want for each backup type individually. In addition to backup age, you also always have the option to do it by the number of backups. So you can see here, we might keep our last 10 backups regardless of the number of backups that we have. And then when you're doing grandfather, father, son, or the weekly differential monthly full, you can also choose to do it by total size of your backup. So you say, what is the maximum amount of backup size that I have available for doing my backups? And then at all times, you can have keep backups indefinitely. We should remember if we choose this, that we might have a very large set of storage that we'll be incurring because we are not deleting the backups, but we're creating new ones all the time. Hopefully you found that enjoyable.